Hello, my name is Darius Clark, and I would like to introduce you to the Needle Engines exporter for Blender. This allows you to export a scene within certain limitations of complexity and textures to a web page so that you could use that scene as to explore a model or to even play a game. Now the coding will need, the programming wouldn't be in Python as it is with Blender, but you'd be using TypeScript. But even if you don't have a TypeScript put together, we can still navigate around the scene with just what's given to you by the Needle Engine tools. You do need to have Node installed on your computer. Uh, that has the programming environment that does the exporting into a web page. First, you download from engine.needle.tools slash downloads slash Blender the plugin for Blender. So I've now downloaded that into here, the Blender plugin. This is a, still an alpha version, but still very useful already. And I'm going to go into the scene that I've already have set up with lighting and textures and models and meshes. And what I'm going to do is just simply add the Blender plugin. And activate it. You might have seen it's already changed our scene. And so what we've done now is added the tools to our scene. And the first thing you need to do, this will be empty, and you'll want to put in a path to where you're going to, the folder you're going to generate your web page to. So I'm going to create one called export. When you do that, you now have a Generate Project button. So go ahead and generate the project. And just to be sure that the web server is installed that runs on Node, I click on Install Web Server. Watch down here for it to finish. Looks like it's finished. And other options, you can go to the folder clicking on the directory. You can build a development version of the web page that's not compressed. You could build a production version of the web page that is uh, compressed. And then um, if you do updates to your scene, you can update the local web scene as well. So that is enough really to start generating our web page. Once it generates the web page, it'll start the server and will open up a new page on your web browser to point to the server so that you could view that object. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to select the camera and we're going to go to the camera object properties and there's a needle options there as well. And so we have uh, needle components and I've already added the orbit control. So you do that by add, clicking add components. We don't have time in this uh, quick introductory tutorial to explain all the components that come with needle tools, but the orbit controls, the orbit controls allow you to navigate around uh, in the web page to view your 3D object. You can also use the create new components to add scripts to your web page in TypeScript or JavaScript. Having done all that, I'm going to go back to my scene and I'm going to run my project. So this will generate the web page, start the web server. As you can see, it's already opened my browser and pointed my, uh, my browser to the local host at port 3000. Now it gives you a not private screen. This is to be expected because we don't have a certificate installed for this web server. It's just for development. So since it's local to our computer, we can say that it's safe to go ahead and look at that page. Now it will load the file. It's generated everything into a scene.glb. 
the entire scene from Blender. And so here we have it. We are actually looking at our 3D model in a web browser that we just exported this model from Blender. And I can zoom in and out with my scroll wheel or click and drag, middle click and drag. I can left click to rotate or orbit and right click to pan around. And so there you have it. You have an object, a scene that has been exported from Blender into a web, uh, a web page and made available for you to view and test. Now you might ask, well, where is this? What can I do with it now? Let's go back to Blender. And there's other options down here. I'm going to stop the local server. And I'm going to go to the directory. So here it takes us to that export folder that we had created. And those we have an index.html. Now this isn't the for production version. It's got all of Node in it to run the web server. But this shows you, and it's using a Vite, uh, V-I-T-E, uh, template for generating the web page as your front end controller for the. So if you to build for production, it will generate a compressed version without node that you could just copy all those files to your web server. It doesn't depend on anything on the server other than to be able to serve up a web page. And if you look now, it's created the index.html, the includes. It's in a distribution folder under export, and it's got our assets. And so here's the scripts exported as JavaScript. And everything from your scene, though, has been uh, encoded into a GLB file. Just one GLB file for all the objects in your scene. So thank you very much. I hope you found this interesting, and I look forward to seeing what you create.